Hello and welcome to the Gothic Unicorn. Now, last time I made these candle holders. Today I'm going to do some more. So this is in effect part two of my candle holder tutorial video. I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm going to be using the same um, basic materials that I showed you at the start of the first part of this. Um, and I'll put the link to that in the description box and also the link to my um, candle video. So for this one, I'm taking a metal bead. Now this is quite a sweet one that looks like a bumblebee. And I'm going to try and turn that into a candle holder. And to do that, I'm going to use three pieces of cardstock punched out at six millimeters and two that are punched out at three millimeters. Now I'm going to stick these together and um, we'll see what happens. I glued the two smaller pieces together and I also glued the three larger pieces together. Now because this bead has not got a flat bottom, what I've done is I've made a couple of little indentations in the larger piece to make it easier to glue the bead to the cardboard. But before I glue, it, glue anything else in place, um, I need to put a bit of paint on it. Now I think I'm going to try putting some silver paint on the, the card um, because I do like the finish of the metal bead and I would like to leave that as it is if at all possible. So time for some silver paint and my tweezers. Now I've got to admit I did change my mind and I have given the bumblebee a um, dry brushing of the silver paint that I've used for the top and the bottom mostly because it just takes the shine off it and it sort of brings it together but also I think it gives it a bit more of a look that is more in keeping with most of my projects. Now once these are dried properly it will be time to glue them together and then to glue the candle into place simple as that. Really easy and literally a bead and some cardstock. And here we have a little silver bumblebee candlestick. Really simple again but would be effective in almost any miniature setting. For this candle holder I'm going to use a wooden bead and this is a um, cylindrical wooden bead from a set that you can pick up for most craft stores. They come in a mixed bag. This one was coloured but I've also got them in um, sort of natural brown colours. Um, it will need a little bit of a sand because of the shiny th um, surface in order to hold the paint better just makes it a bit easier and I'm also going to be using again some more of my punch circles um, six millimeter two of them and three millimeter two of them again ideally I would like a circle that was about five millimeters for this maybe four and a half but I haven't got one so I'm not going to worry about it I'm going to work with what I've got I have stuck the pieces of cardstock together and I've given the bead a little bit of a um, sand to remove some of the shine. Not all of it, it's just to try and reduce it a bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the top and I'm going to pick that up and stick my little piece on one side like so and then I'm going to repeat the process put some glue around the bottom of the bead and put it centralized on a little bit of card so that now I've got a basic little candlestick of the sort that I've definitely seen in various kinds of um, ceramic. Now, now that this one is painted and 
finished. I am really liking the look of the black. Now I am considering adding some kind of detail onto it with some white paint, but it could quite easily pass as it is. The matte sort of black is quite um, in at the moment, or has been. And I could always add a small amount of Mod Podge over the top to give it a bit of shine. So I did actually decide to go with a bit of a stylized crescent moon design on it. And I quite like it. Um, I might well be making a matching pair for this one. This skull bead is better finished than the bead that I did previously. Um, and I quite like the finish of it. So this one I'm going to treat slightly differently. And I'm going to make a candle holder to go on the top of it using some scraps of black cardstock. Um, I've got here two at the six mil again and three of the three mil. Now again, I'm going to glue them together and stack them up. This is my basic premise with using any kind of cardstock is to stack it because most of the time an ind one piece is too thin. Simply too thin to um, get the effect that you want. And literally going to make a little pile of those. Now I could leave that to dry a bit longer, but it should be okay because this glue is quite tacky and grabs quite quickly. And I'm going to stick them into the middle of the larger piece. There we go. Now I do need my cocktail stick to remove the extra glue. Although it does dry clear, so it won't look too bad. And then all I'm going to do is put a good blob of glue on the reverse of the larger one and attach it to the top of this skull, not unlike a very flat top hat. Then I can take my candle attach a good blob of glue to the bottom of there and stick that in place and then when that is trimmed I will have a perfect skull candle holder. For the next candle holder I'm going to use some metal beads. Now the main bead is a barrel shaped decorated um, spacer bead and then these two are the same and they are sort of flower leaf type pieces that you would normally use on top of a bigger bead. Um, you can pick these up anywhere where you can buy beads, in, you know, in-person shops or online, you will find lots and lots of little metal beads. You do need to be careful if buying them online because of the sizes, because they can vary greatly, but there's lots of choice out there. All that I'm doing with these is I'm sticking one of the shaped beads to each end of the barrel bead so that one forms a foot and the other will form the saucer where the candle will actually stand. So plenty of glue on here. And try and fit that on 
nice and straight. It takes a little bit of fiddling around because obviously they're square rather than circular. But given a little drying time, I'll be able to attach the candle and there's another simple candle holder. So my little metal bead candle holder is now dried and I said it's candle and that looks like something that you could possibly fit into any miniature scene because it could almost be an antique candlestick and I think a pair of those on a mantelpiece or even on a table would look absolutely brilliant. Um, this wooden bead resembles a game piece but it is a bead it's got a hole through the middle. Um, I bought a pack of them quite some time ago and I've used them for legs stacked up with other wooden beads and I spotted this one and thought it would make quite a nice pillar candle holder. So I'm going to use that and four punched cardstock circles in five eighths of an inch that's the size it's on them and I'm simply going to glue and stack and then again this is probably going to need a um, bit of sanding but then if we'll get a coat of black paint and I'll take it from there and here we have my pillar candle holder with my chunkier candle on top and um, yeah I'm really pleased with this um, again I think I'm going to leave this one black although I could um, decide to change my mind and um, make it metallic in the future but as it stands in the black it sort of reminds me of some candlesticks that I've got in my own home and um, yeah I kind of like that well, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make some candle holders out of beads and cardboard and not much else. Um, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.